What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe 1.6 scale M3 half track or tank destroyer. So throughout this video, you are going to see all of this vehicle's features and basically what it came with originally. Now some of the parts are missing, I will say that. It is super hard to find one fully complete or even in the box nowadays. So right away, the first thing that I admire about this half track is the paint scheme that it has on it. Uh, I do believe that the paint scheme is uh, modeled after the Pacific theme. So you got the USMC or DUSMC, and then it's number right on the side there. Um, and then you got that kind of desert tan as well as with some olive uh, green on there as well. So uh, basically the Pacific theme there. And I do have some or two figures to go with the Pacific themed half track that I have here in front of me. Do keep in mind that the figures did not originally come with uh, the vehicle. Some of the things that are actually missing from the half track would be the uh, jerry can that would be right here, uh, the shovel that would go right here, just some of the little accessories and stuff. Uh, the main gun is there, you know, all the uh, wheels and stuff are there, so it's just about 90% complete or so. It is missing the little cylinder uh, that would go right there, um, and it was basically meant for if the half track got stuck, uh, you know, that cylinder was supposed to help it get out of like a, you know, some sort of a ditch or something that it fell into. Um, I think there are other reasons for it being there, but that's just what I'm what I'm knowledgeable in. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features that this half track has, which it does come with a lot of features, which is why I really like it. Uh, it can move, okay? So you do kind of have to push it, but the tracks do move, the wheels move. Uh, the front wheels do actually turn left and right, which is a really cool feature that they added. Um, that's kind of like on the side there. The doors do not open, like this flat piece that would come up, come up here does not uh, work. So it's just kind of a molded piece there, which is kind of unfortunate. You would think if they'd make the wheels turn that they would have the doors opening too, but nah. Now a cool feature about the wheels back here uh, is that there is like a little suspension feature. So if you lift the, the half track up, you can see how the bogies react in that uh, specific way. Gotta put some pressure down and you can see that there is some suspension that comes with the half track. So that is definitely super cool. So just as a little overview of the front of the half track, uh, we got the two headlights there. This is where the cylinder piece would have been here, but as you can see, it's missing at the moment. I may try and recover a uh, part for that, um, but they're really hard to come across. You can only really find parts for such vehicles on eBay nowadays. Uh, but even then, it's pretty scarce uh, for such parts. Uh, the gun, we'll get into the gun more in depth here in a little bit. But if you lift it up, the windshield does close down to reveal the driver. There he is, one of my first figures that I have in the vehicle. Uh, you can also put a uh, passenger on the side there. Um, yeah, not too much going on here. The grill pieces don't lift up, which is unfortunate. They were kind of armored, uh, so you know bullets can't get in there. Uh, but if, you, you know, the engine was overheating or something like that, you could uh, lift the flaps up in real life. Um, they didn't add that here, but uh, it's okay, I guess. So Another thing that I figured I'd mention is that no, the hood does not open on this half-track model. Uh, definitely an unfortunate thing. I mean, they even have like the molded piece where, you know, you would hold on to and, you know, to, open, to be able to open the hood. Uh, they molded that in there, but they didn't add like any engine detail, which is really unfortunate. I'm sure you could probably come up with something, but I mean, I feel like that would kind of crack the plastic and mess up the vehicle. So not something you want to mess with. Let's move on to the gun here. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe in real life, this gun was a 75 millimeter uh, gun and it was meant to take out tanks. That's right. And basically just artillery support uh, for the troops on the ground. On this vehicle though, you can actually see, you can already see how high the uh, cannon goes up and then it would go down into this little uh, indent in the windshield. And I'm sure there's other ways to fasten it down uh, in the transporting process or the moving process. Uh, the gun does have a really cool, it is spring loaded and you can actually move it back and forward. So it has like a little recoil feature, which I believe is really cool. Uh, it can turn side to side, can turn to side uh, really well, or actually really far uh, to the left and really far to the right. But if you go too far to the right, you're going to hit the uh, the, the uh, passenger that's in there. So, so I've got my little uh, soldier here, and he's holding the actual ammunition. 
that you can actually fit in there. Those two are just molded pieces, okay? You can't take them out. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you do have one shell that is removable. Really nice touch there. Uh, there's the good look of the interior of the gun. Um, you got the breech here that can open and close, and you can actually fit the shell in there. So that's another cool uh, play feature, I guess, um, but just really adds to the detail there. The wheels do move around here. Really cool. There's a seat on this side, so you can sit down, or you can have two seated figures, uh, one standing, um, but honestly, the sky's the limit. I mean, you can stack as many figures as you want this thing. Um, the more figures, the less, you know, uh, realistic, but yeah, really cool, really nicely detailed uh, floor there. Um, you got an M1 rifle right here. Really cool. This one has a really good feature here. You can see the uh, bullets in there. And it can close. I think this is a G.I. Joe accessory. I'm not too sure, but came with that figure. So really cool. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Uh, the interesting thing about when I picked this vehicle up is I noticed that the door was missing originally. And so I actually had ordered a, um, I went on eBay and this guy makes uh, custom uh, or 3D printed doors and accessories for this exact vehicle. So uh, I guess he had one and decided to 3D print parts and stuff, which was really smart on his end because <laughs> I ended up buying a door. Uh, yeah, it was missing a door. So I purchased one from him. And the paint, I will tell you, is a little bit off. It's not exactly the same paint like on the green is what I'm saying. Um, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a little bit off on color. Um, but I'm not complaining. I got a door so that I can, you know, kind of close this thing up. So that's really nice. Um, so, yeah, look on eBay. If you're looking for accessories, just type in the name of the vehicle um, and just parts or whatever. And you should be able to find some parts that you may be needing for this vehicle. Uh, he doesn't make every single part, just, you know, uh, some of the main stuff. He does make jerry cans too, so I need to pick one up. <laughs> um, but yeah, this vehicle is not in mint condition. You know, it's got some scratches and stuff, but I don't really care. It's massive. It's really cool looking, and it just looks great on display. So, um, but yeah, once again, there's a nice little look at the rear here. You got the two tail lights there, little 51 number, uh, some more storage compartments and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think one thing or one version of this vehicle that I believe G.I. Joe should have made was the M16 um, uh, version of this uh, half track. So the M16, I think, yeah, I had like 450 cals and, you know, it would be able to be rotatable and there'd be one guy sitting in a seated position firing all the guns. I think that would have been awesome in one six scale, but uh, can't have everything, you know. And just in case anybody is interested, there is the bottom of the half track or the underside. Um, the tracks are rubber. I didn't mention that, but they are rubber. And yeah, there's a little cool axle system that they have going on here so that the wheels can turn. So the uh, GI Joe or Hasbro logo, it's kind of upside down here, but it says uh, 2001 Hasbro, all rights reserved, made in China, blah, blah, blah. So. Nothing too crazy going on there. Now, it is a pretty heavy vehicle, but I can just about lift it here with one hand, uh, but still very heavy. So I think that's gonna have to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I do plan to keep on releasing videos as much as I can. Um, but you know, I don't have every vehicle in the world. So it may take some time for me to acquire uh, new vehicles for the collection and space. Space is a very big factor, uh, as to how many videos I can make. Cause I don't have all the space in the world as much as I'd like to. <laughs> so have a good one guys. Take care.